Hello and thanks for joining me on today's video. Today's vlog might turn into a little bit of a rant, but it's something that I felt like I wanted to get off my chest for a while. Well, a few weeks at least. Basically, uh, a few weeks ago, someone commented on one of my Wales videos and said that I need to use Lightroom to make my images good and they don't understand my editing process. And then someone else, some moron, got involved saying that they don't understand and they're, they're backing this guy up and that I was paranoid and all this kind of nonsense and it was just stupid and it kind of it just got me thinking we don't what is what what why what is it to do with anyone else what, what I use by the way I shoot in raw and JPEG and I can edit raw images if I want I just don't use Lightroom it frustrates me that people seem to think that you have to do something in order to be a photographer and I hate that when you th when I start thinking about beginners who are perhaps just picking up an image uh, a camera for the first time and they might watch a video like this and they see someone saying you need this 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 and this it's just it can be off-putting to start with and they they can end up spending money they don't need to spend you don't need to spend money in order to take pictures particularly if you have a camera or the means of taking an image, you can take images. It frustrates me when people say that you need to have all this stuff. And the moron who was who joined the comment thread and started spouting nonsense about me being paranoid said that I've got a list of equipment as long as my arm, and I presume that he was referring to the affiliate links in the in the description below, which details all the all the equipment that I have but the majority of it is to produce videos like this it's nothing to do with photography I have a camera body which is a 700d which is nothing to write home about and I have three lenses which I use and that's it I can go out and take pictures with that I don't need to have GoPros and extra tripods and fancy bags and a drone and all that kind of stuff that's all to create videos and I just find it irritating that people feel the need to get involved in other people's lives i just wanted, wanted to reference gary norman's video and he had a comment from another photographer vlogger who was basically doing him down and it's caused gary to reevaluate whether he wants to carry on vlogging or not i really hope he does carry on and at the very least carries on taking pictures because his imagery is fantastic his street imagery is fantastic but there's no this person who was having a go at Gary was like saying this why are you doing these piece to camera videos get out there and take pictures we can't all it'd be, it'd be a bit boring wouldn't it if we all did the same thing all the time what would be, what would be the point in this what would be the point in there being millions of people with cameras millions of people uploading content to YouTube if we all uploaded the same stuff what would be the point it's like that saying from the Incredibles if everyone's super that means no one's super so maybe dare to be different I just it just infuriates me when people get involved no one has a clue about my work workflow I don't use Lightroom for a few reasons I see so many people relying heavily on Lightroom for instance and they'll take a rubbish picture and then they'll make it look amazing in, in Lightroom well that isn't I don't see I don't see that that isn't how I work I'd rather take a good picture and then be happy with that and leave it unedited then take a rubbish picture and make it look good in Lightroom I understand post-processing has its place and I understand that raw images have more about them than JPEGs but for what I do getting a JPEG off my card putting it in my computer quickly boosting the contrast for instance and cropping it down to a square crop you know by now I love square crops or a 16 by 9 and putting that in a video or using it on Instagram or something that's enough for me and we don't all have to be taking award-winning images or trying to break the internet break Instagram's like amount we don't it's, it's ridiculous we get people are just oh people are just frustrating and I wish that people would look at their own lives and invest their time in their own lives and trying to tell other people how to do it their way i'm happy with my workflow my 
photography client, the one that I've got, which I've done a video before, I'll link it up there. They're happy with my images. I, I don't need to do all the things that are available. And if you're a photographer, you don't need to do all the things that are available, whoever you are, because otherwise we'd never leave our computers. We wouldn't, you, you find having a, it frustrates me like the, the Nikon Brigade who hate Canon and the Canon Brigade who, who hate Nikon. Just be happy with yourself. I think if we invest our, invest this time in ourselves, we'd all be better people. We're all unique and without that uniqueness, what's the point? I just find it f so frustrating when people try and get involved in stuff that, for want of a better word, they don't need to get involved in. Go and sort your own life out. It sort of loops back round after Gary put his video out, Mark McNeil put a video out about toxic photography and there is this toxicness about the photography vlogging YouTube world. It's just, oh, one minute. It's just, people just getting involved in stuff they don't need to. And, and I, I put my videos out there to encourage and to inspire people and if, one person gets encouraged and inspired to pick up a camera and heads out. It's worth the video effort to film and edit and schedule and all that kind of stuff. I just, but then for all the lovely comments I get on my videos, and I thank you, the people who give these lovely comments and who appreciate the work, the trolls are just it can just bring you down and it can bring you down into a valley and put weight on your shoulders and hopefully me doing this piece to camera can lift that weight off my shoulders a little bit. Anyway, I want to speak about Lightroom as well and say that there are three alternatives. I think it's like £10 a month or something and that's a lot of money to a lot of people. I'm self-employed. £10 a month is a lot of money. So three alternatives are out there and there are some better ones. Lightroom's like the go-to thing that people use because other people use it. But if you if you look, I use one called Raw Therapy and it's therapy with two E's instead of the Y on the end and it's all one word, Raw Therapy. But when I was Googling that, there are other free alternatives and paid alternatives as well. I'm not sure which ones are which in terms of free and paid. But if you Google Light Zone or Iran, if, if, if Iran View, Air fan view. That sounds very northern, doesn't it? Air fan view. Uh, air fan view. Air fan fan view. It's something like that. Uh, Capture One Pro, Dark Table, DOX Photo Lab, On One Photo Raw, ACDC. Ace, very clever. ACDC, but C spelled S E E. Photo Studio Professional. There's loads. There's lo if you if you search for it, you don't need to pay to edit your photos. I've got free software. All my my photo shop is uh, a free, well, it's not free copy, but it's a copy that I paid a one-off fee for of like 50 quid years ago. And I've still got it and it still works for what I need it to work for. And that other raw, whatever it was, I can't remember, therapy, raw therapy. I need therapy. Um, that's free and my edit software, that, that was the thing, this person commented saying that I edit my photos in Adobe Premiere. Oh, honestly, some people don't have a clue. And then you realize that these people don't have a clue and they're the, they're the ones trying to give you advice and you just kind of think, shut up. Anyway, I can feel the weight lifting off my shoulders a little bit. I'm enjoying having a little bit of a rant and getting it off my chest a little bit. I just want to encourage you to be the person that you are. Your workflow is your workflow. Your photos are your photos. I know that putting them on Instagram and on vlogs and putting them out there for people, well, putting them out there allows people to rip them to pieces. But even if they do rip them to pieces, the plot button is there for a reason. That's what I told Gary. I had similar issues with the person who Gary was mentioning that he got text messages from and the plot button just got rid of all that negativity. There's there's no need for it. I don't need that stuff in my life and I don't need all horrible comments. I'd rather someone took that time and effort and went out and took pictures of their own than started keyboard warrioring me. But 
we're in that society where people do do that and it's a bit of a sad one but I think sometimes you just have to grin and bear it and embrace your uniqueness and be happy with the workflow that you've got and try not to be too impressionable because when people are harping on it you're sending you loads of messages saying that you need to be doing this that and the other you, you can start questioning yourself but I don't think we need to because if you're happy doing what you're doing then that's all that matters in the end it, whatever whatever anyone else says doesn't particularly matter so hopefully this video encourages you to be you because you're great and yeah that's basically all I've got to say about it and yeah I don't use Lightroom so what of it I use other stuff I use a Canon I drive a Vauxhall and a Mazda and I live in a house somewhere where people probably wouldn't and we've got three kids which people seem to have an opinion on and I haven't got had a haircut for a year people have an opinion on that stupid some people just if people have got an opinion on my life their life must not be very interesting themselves that's the way to look at it I think so anyway hopefully that's kind of cleared the air a little bit between me and my head and also let you know why I don't use Lightroom and that there are free alternatives out there and if you're a beginner have a look for free stuff because you don't need to be shelling out on stuff just because Tom, Dick and Harry from Down the Photo Club use it. Be different and be you and work, use what works for you as well. So anyway, hopefully that's the end of that and hopefully you can join me next week for more rants. No, I think, I'm not sure what I've got planned next week, but hopefully you can join me on that one ahead next week, whenever that is. Anyway, I'm losing myself, so I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining me on this one. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.